everyone! We have a really fun story to read today, and it is called, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Numeroff. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Oh, this mouse seems very polite. Cookies and milk are always delicious and even ask for a napkin so he could clean himself up. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim, so he'll probably ask for a pair of scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Oh, wow. Okay, at first I thought Mouse was pretty clean, but now I'm wondering if he's just making a big mess. Also, that's a lot of dirt inside of this house. He is doing a great job deep cleaning. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO, I've noticed something. This container that the boy is emptying out looks like it might be a makeup container for someone in his house. <gasps> and now Mouse is using it as a pillow in a comfy bed. Whoops. He'll probably ask you for a story, so you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. Hey, that's just like what I ask you to do when we're doing crafts. Always add your name to your work. He'll want to sign his name with a pen. And then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that He's thirsty, so he'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. <laughs> the end. Having Mouse Hangout seems like a lot of fun. But it also looks a little tiring. Maybe we can help out by making some cookies for our craft today. Okay everyone, let's bake some cookies. We will need our week one story time bundle, our glue, black paint, and brown paint. We'll need a paintbrush and a pair of scissors. Inside your week one bundle, there's a coloring page of Cookie Monster with some chocolate chip cookies and a picture of a mouse with an empty glass of milk. You'll also see we have a page that's tin foil. There's a gray sheet of paper that says C is for cookies along the top. And then you'll have another coloring sheet, but this is actually scrap paper and we are going to be using the plain side. 
Now, before we can make some cookies, we need to work on making cookie dough. And to do that, we are taking our brown paint and we are going to paint the whole plain side of our scrap piece of paper. You could do this with a paintbrush, or if you're lucky, maybe you'll even be able to finger paint it. Mix and mix and mix that dough until your whole sheet is covered. Now while our cookie dough is drying, let's prepare our baking sheet. To do that, we're going to take our tin foil and fold over all of the edges until it's small enough to fit on our gray piece of paper. You can roll up the edges a little bit like I'm doing so that they stand up and it really looks like a baking sheet. Once we have it small enough so it will fit on our piece of paper, we are going to grab our glue and glue our baking sheet right onto the gray piece of paper. Now our cookie dough is probably still wet and the glue on our baking sheet is still wet. So now is a perfect time to grab a crayon and practice tracing the letters at the top of your sheet. You can trace the sentence C is for cookie and you can also write your name right along the top of the page, just like Mouse did with his picture in our story. When you are finished all of that printing, hopefully your cookie dough is dry and you can start cutting it out into cookie shapes. I made a bunch of brown cookie circles and I could fit five onto my baking tray. Once I had my five cookies cut out, I put some glue onto the baking tray and got them all ready to go into the oven. Last but not least, we need to add our chocolate chips. Open up your container of black paint, stick your finger inside, and add a few chocolate chips to each one of your cookies. And that is it for our craft! We've made a fresh batch of cookies for the little mouse. Here are some pictures of our friends from over last month and all of the amazing and beautiful crafts that they have been working on. I hope you all had lots of fun listening to our story time today, and I can't wait to read to you again next week. Goodbye, friends!